could knock people out with either hand, right or left. We, we knocked people out that shouldn't be knocked out, but they say we couldn't knock out. People are very proud of him. They keep saying they're putting Youngstown back on the map. A lot of people want to be around him now. He's getting that celebrity type status. The condition that he's in is just unbelievable. I've been working out four times a day for six weeks and, and waking up in the morning and running and then sparring and then lifting and then coming to the Y at night. I just couldn't believe that the people were there and waving towels and screaming and hollering for him. This is one of the best things to happen to Youngstown in the past decade or so. We fought everybody that they've put in front of us, and, and we didn't just go to a decision. We destroyed them. They start calling him the ghost. They says, um, you can't hit what you can't see. He has lived up to every hype that has been said about him and beyond. Two, three. I like to see him win a world title. This town needs something big and major to happen. This kid's going to be a champion. In Youngstown, Ohio, where Lucius Avenue and Erie Street intersect, sits the gritty Southside Boxing Club. Inside the cramped gym, Kelly Pavlik, the number one ranked middleweight contender in the world and defender of Youngstown's storied boxing history, is training for his upcoming fight with the hard-punching and outspoken Edison Miranda. Boxing is not a sport of uh, being pretty and, and, and uh, any glam. It's, it's a rugged, tough sport. And, uh, you know, if you're going to fight in, the, in this type of business, you know, you, you want to go to the type of places that are uh, like this, you know. This is where it's at. And, um, you know, it makes you a tougher person, too, believe me. We fought everybody that they put in front of us, and, and we didn't just go to a decision when we, you know, we, we destroyed them. We, we knocked people out that shouldn't be knocked out that they say we couldn't knock out. Now at 30 and 0, number one in the world, there's a lot of attention. The spotlight's on me, and a, a loss could be very, very devastating to the, you know your career. You know we'd have to go up a go up a big hill again to get back to where we were. So that's always plays on the back of your mind. You know what happens if and what's going to happen if I don't do this. So you know the main thing is though not to worry about it too much. Close to fight time and just go in there and be confident as much as possible. I think Miranda's wasting a lot of valuable internet time because Kelly's not paying any attention to him at all. So all the talking he's doing is going for naught. The Miranda Pavlik fight will take place May 19th in Memphis on the undercard of Corey Spinks, Jermaine Taylor. Taylor is the current middleweight champion of the world. In theory, the winner of Miranda Pavlik will in turn be the next in line to fight Taylor for his world title. Last 30 seconds, we're going to work like an interval, up and down, light. I'm a homebody and don't want to ever leave. This is where my place is. And here's where my grandma, Lewis, lives. This used to be a house over here. They tore it down, though, but we used to always play, have basketball games. This is where my Aunt Gigi lived. These were the fields that we used to play backyard football right here. And then right here is my grandma, Stella. At all this street here, we used to have all these fields that we used to play you know, backyard football, kickball. This one was the best one to play. Until you got to the end, then you went downhill. Uh, it wasn't fun.
recently just a you know deterioration of, of Youngstown the way everything is closing down and the crime and that's the only part that's pretty bad and that I don't think anybody who's civilized you know likes that part about Youngstown you know it's, it's a serious problem and that's something needs to be uh, done about it and I think if people keep trying and you know take the time that we could bring it back but at the same time there's a lot of people that just gave up you know they said why and it's hard because soon you try to bring something back people are still afraid you know they're afraid to come here to Youngstown and or hang out or do anything in Youngstown every all oh, that's just a lot of that's all shut down my brother actually had a job they laid him off it's just hard right now Located halfway between Pittsburgh to the east and Cleveland to the west, Youngstown has the same Rust Belt infrastructure and blue collar work ethic as its neighboring big brothers. Mahoning County is referred to by many as the Steel Valley for obvious reasons. Unfortunately, the Steel Valley has been in its own fight. Knocked down over time, Springsteen-esque in its appearance with a constant refrain of job loss and hard times for its people. When the steel mills collapsed, a lot of people suffered, went through some hard times, but the people of Youngstown are resilient. The people of Youngstown have a tenacity about them that lets them know they've got to keep fighting, they've got to keep their head up. Uh, there are a lot of great people here, a lot of great assets here, and we are in the process of just redefining and, and establishing a brighter community, a future for this community. So I'm excited to be from Youngstown. It's a place that I love. It's a place that I call home. While we still have lots of work to do, uh, we're excited about people like Kelly Pavlik and just the, uh, a number of people who have come from Youngstown and the Mahoney Valley to do a lot of great and successful things. With a population of just over 80,000, Youngstown's modest size does not allow for a potential world champion boxer to move unnoticed. What's up? What's going on, guys? <laughs> Kelly is not one to stand still in the shadows of anonymity. Third and fourth grader, they were good though. I mean, they asked like very, they were they acted good, and they asked, asked really good questions too. Like there was Liberty right next to the high school. The one little kid was asking me like, "Is your manager a pest?" Do your managers pester you? <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't ask me what percentage can I get from your purse. <laughs> when you have uh, what, this is a hard question to answer. These are like third graders. No, I have not. Hey. He will be the next champion out of Youngstown. Yeah. Is that a promise or is that just a plan? As the Miranda fight draws closer, Kelly's training has intensified. Way there, babe. Nothing left, babe. Nine, eight, seven, six. You have to have a goal, a drive. Definitely in boxing, you have to because it's a sport. I mean, you can be the best athlete in the world or the best fighter. If you're not in shape and you don't put the time in that you're supposed to put in, then you know you're not going to get the best results. It's all about the discipline.
I say lots of prayers. Um, I get really nervous. Um, kind of like to be by myself um, during the fight. Um, but I'm always very confident that he'll do what he has to do. I just fell in love with the sport and the one-on-one -on -one aspect of it. This is serious business, you know, and you get in that ring and you're only as good as your last fight. My main concern is get a nice house close to home and raise my daughter, have a family. I told you guys I'm strong. I just like to have fun outside the ring. Ah! Once it's, I get in the ring, it's all business and I move on to the next one. Now at 30 and 0, the number one in the world, there's a lot of attention, the spotlight's on me. But there is a lot of pressure. I just want to be, you know, labeled as a great fighter. Kelly Pavlik's goal of becoming a world champion is within reach.